All right. Uh, greetings, fellow grade 11s. It's Mr. Tletcher again. Look, now what you are going to be looking at uh, today, we are still looking at our 2 and 3D shapes of our, you know, sine and cosine rules, or rather, you know, uh, the shapes, which is the trigonometric shapes, right? Any way you call it. Now, look, uh, 7.1. Now, they say in this diagram, you are given that PR is a diameter, right? So one thing that we already know about a diameter is that diameter always, uh, it is going to be always subtended by a 90 degree, right? So a, a diameter or rather diameter, basically what uh, it is, basically that line that divides your cycle into two equal halves, right? So which means this cycle uh, is divided by PR, uh, which is going to be your, what, which is going to make these two cycles to be equal. Now they say, now uh, triangle PQR is drawn with vertexes, uh, what uh, Q outside of the cycle. Now we are given that your angle R is equals to theta, your angle PR, or rather your PR is equal to QR, which is 2Y, right? Which means both of those sides are equal. And now we are given that your P, uh, Q, it is equal to Y. Now, the first question, they want you to do what? So they want you to determine what is going to be the value of your cos of theta, right? So they want you to find out what is going to be the value of your cos of theta. Look, now, uh, already here you are given cos, so which means the rule that you are going to apply, it is the cosine rule, right? And remember, let me just remind you that, remember for application of cosine rule, if you are looking for an angle, right? If you are looking for an angle, you must have side, must have side x, you must have side y, and you must have uh, side z. And then you can use now all those sides now to do it, to calculate for you right, to calculate for the uh, missing angle, right? So which means in this case, look, you can say now, look, your PQ, you can make PQ the subject of the formula. And then remember, because PQ is the one that corresponds with your angle theta, which is the one that you're looking for. So look, so the first thing that you can do, you can say, look, now my PQ, remember your PQ, uh, if let's say you were doing for PQ, your PQ is going to be this side and also this side, right? This side and this side with this inclusion angle. So your PQ is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by your Q uh, R squared, this is squared plus your P R squared, uh, then subtract your two uh, Q R, this is your two Q R, uh, uh, multiplied by your P R, which is going to be also cos of your, what? Cos of your theta. Isn't it so? So now, uh, let's say uh, now you want to make uh, this your cost, the subject of the formula. Before we do that, let's come and substitute. Look, if we come and substitute, what is your PQ? Your PQ, you are given that it's Y. So this is going to be Y into squared is given by what is your QR? Your QR, you are given that this is 2Y into squared plus what is your PR? Your PR also, they said these sides are equal. So this is going to be a 2Y into 2. This is going to be your 2y multiplied by your 2y. And cos of what? Cos of your theta. This is going to be your cos of your theta, right? So which means now, uh, let's try and solve this before. Now, when you solve this, look, look, this is going to be your y squared is equals to your 4y squared plus your 4y squared, isn't it? So uh, this is 4 plus your 4y squared. And then this is going to be uh, subtract your 2 into uh, what is going to be this one multiplied by this one, right? Uh, this multiplied by this one, 2 multiplied by 2, it is 4. And y multiplied by y, it is y squared. Cos of what? Cos of your theta. This is going to be your cos of your theta. Now, what is it that you can do? Now, the first thing that you can do, you know, uh, recommendedly so you can just simply take this one because can you see that this is negative and just transpose it this side and you take this one and you transpose it this side then that's all right so which means when you do that look you are going to have what let's also solve this one now remember when you solve this one this is going to be two multiplied by two which is four right so which means uh which is going to be eight i mean so you're going to have eight y squared cos of theta 
is equals to what is equals to look you left these two things here right you left these two values and let's see now if you can add uh on these two values what is it that you are going to find now because you know these are are uh, one and the same thing now what is it that you are going to find now this is going to be your eight y squared and then when you take this one this other side is going to be subtract y squared right so which means uh now what is it that you're going to have this is going to be your cos of theta which or rather eight y squared cos of theta is going to be equals to look when you have eight and you subtract one this is going to be seven y squared so then you divide by eight y squared you divide by eight y squared right what will happen basically these two are going to cancel and these are going to cancel which means now therefore your cos uh, of theta is going to be given by seven out of eight or seven over eight right so this is the numerical value now of your cos of theta how do you get now hopefully this makes sense now let's look at this uh this last one now uh, what they basically want you to do now. The last one they want you to say now, if QR, so they say, if QR cuts the circumference of the settle at T, right? Cuts the circumference of your settle at T, determine your PT in terms of Y and theta. Now, you know, uh, let me just give you the narration of this. So if they say it cuts the circumference of your settle at T, right? So, which means basically what they are, are giving us, yeah, they are saying now this, uh, your QR basically starts from here, all together, up until, let's say, here, all together. Uh, they say it, uh, it goes up until here. Now, what is it that now you can do here? So, the first thing that you know is, you know that if, uh, this is your side T, right? So if this is your side T, you'd know that your PT, right? Your PT rather is going to be perpendicular to your QR, right? Uh, this this side here, or remember this side, it's going to be perpendicular here, which means it's going to form a 90 degree. So which means the first statement uh, for your 7.2, you're going to say, look, this makes my PT to be perpendicular to my what to my qr right and why are you saying that this is going to be angles in a semicircle right this is because of angles in uh, a semicircle right in a semi uh, circle right this is going to be your reason and now as soon as you do that now this is what i want you to do now when you start from here now when you're you, when you are here, look, if you can just look at this triangle P, now TR, uh, let's say now you want to find the relation of what? You want to find the representation of your PT here, this side PT here. What is it that you are going to do? Now you are going to say, uh, if this is your right angle triangle, let me just draw it here uh, for you so that you get uh, these contexts that I want you to have. Now, let's say I draw this triangle here. This is the right triangle in here. And you have these as your 90 degrees. And you are having here as your theta. And you are looking for your P, uh, T, and R. So what is going to be the representation of your PT? So PT basically is going to be the angle that is opposite to your theta here. That is going to be opposite to your theta. Or it's going to be the side that is uh, opposite to your theta. And now uh, you are also going to use what? And what else are you given? You are also given this side here. Can you see that you are given a 2y here? Which means this side is 2y. So which trigonometric ratio then are you going to do? Now you are given an opposite side and you have a hypotenuse side. So which means you are going to use side. So you are going to say, look, my sine of theta my sine of theta in here it is going to be what it is going to be what the opposite which is pt over the hypotenuse which is my pr right and as soon as you do that let's see now what is it that you're going to do then you're going to come and what substitute now remember this is same as now uh if you can substitute in here uh, you are looking for your PT. So look, if you are making your PT the subject of the formula, PT is going to what? It's going to be PR multiplied by sine of theta, right? It's going to be PR 
PR multiplied by sine of theta. And now when you come and substitute, what is your PR? Therefore, which means your PT. Uh, your PT is going to be what? It is going to be your 2 uh, Y sine of what? Sine of theta. And then you have successfully represented your PT in terms of what? In terms of Y and theta, right? And therefore, you are done with this question. Thank you very much.